Okay, so in order to sketch this, let's sketch the graph of y equals 2 cosine of x, the reciprocal, and then we can make these horseshoes touch at the, at the peaks of our sinusoidal graph. I'll show you what that means in just a second. Um, okay, let's start with uh, the original cosine of x. Cosine of x, the graph starts, if this is our x and y grid, the graph starts at the peak of the amplitude, goes down, then back up. Right. So this has a vertical shift of 1, so instead of starting at 1, we'd be shifted up 1 to plus uh, to 2 on the y-axis. But it has an amplitude of 2, so that means we're supposed to be 2 units, not 1 unit away from the midline. So this midline is supposed to be at, at 1 on the y-axis, so there's our midline. And the amplitude is 2, so we're up at 3 for our starting dot for cosine. But before I fill in that dot, we have a, a horizontal shift of pi over 4 units to the right. So instead of starting at x equals 0 for our starting dot for our sinusoidal wave, we want to move pi over 4 units to the right. So a dot on our graph should be at pi over 4 in the x, 3 on the y. And then the period is 2 pi because b is 1. And the period is always, for sine and cosine, it's reciprocals, it's always 2 pi divided by b. So 2 pi divided by 1 makes 2 pi. So that means we should be repeating ourselves at pi over 4 plus 2 pi. So that, that means we should be repeating ourselves at 9 pi over 4 comma 3. That should be our next dot. So we need to go down, and we're going to dip down to negative 1, and then back up, and then we should be repeating ourselves at that point. Okay, so that's the sketch of cosine of x. Since we're graphing its reciprocal, all we have to do is make sure that we're making those horseshoe shapes touching at those peaks and valleys, bombs of valleys here. So our sketch should look something like that. Okay, so that means on this graph over here, we want to drag our dots so that we're at pi over 4, which is somewhere right around, it's actually right here, pi over 4 in the x, and then 3 on the y. That should be a dot and the horseshoe should look like this, something like this. And then the next dot is halfway between these two, so that would be pi over 4 plus pi, so that this dot down here should be 5 pi over 4 comma negative 1, right? because that's two units, our amplitude is 2, so that's two units down from the midline. So our next dot should be at 5 pi over 4, this is, um, let's see, so that's pi over 2, that's pi. This should be 5 pi over 4 right here. And so our next dot should be right here. It should make that horseshoe shape. And then there's always vertical asymptotes between the two horseshoe shapes, right? So we need to drag our dots until we, ha until we have this dot, 5 pi over 4 comma negative 1. And then we have this dot up here, which we said was pi over 4 comma 3. Okay, so if memory serves me right, I think the black dot tells you where the midline is. So that means we want to shift the black dot up into, uh, up to where y equals 2. And you might have to move it left or right to get these blue dots lined up. And then uh, once, once the blue dots are lined up on top of pi over 4 here, you want to make sure you drag the blue dot up so that this is a point on your graph. And then if you've done that correctly, if you've got the blue dot Oh, and then there's the orange dot, too. Actually, the orange dot might be the midline. That's what the one you'd want to shift. Um, but here, just one more sketch. You can play around with those dots. Um, drag them around in, um, in Newton until you have pi over 4, comma 3 as one of the dots. And it should make a horseshoe, something like this. And then you should also have a dot down here we calculated at 5 pi over 4, comma negative 1. So make sure that's also a dot in your graph. And then make sure that you have your midline at y equals 1, we said. I said y equals 2 for some reason. That's stuck in my brain. I don't know why. But this is 2 units down, 2 units up. So it should be at y equals 1. You should have a, that horizontal dotted line. That should be moved up. Um... I think that's it. If you get those points and if you have that midline correct, everything else should work out in Newton.